and we're live. So, uh, what have you been up to since since sixty days in? You're what are you what are you working? So, so uh, I actually joined the uh, Army uh, National Guard, and that's uh, what I'm actually doing right now. I'm actually down in Texas. Um, we were we were supposed to be deployed to Afghanistan. And we got down here to Texas and our, our orders got cut. So half of our unit went overseas and then the other half stayed down here for a, for a border patrol mission. All right. Are you, is that preferable for you or would you have preferred to go overseas? So I've already deployed twice, um, back mm -hmm. in 07 and 08. So, I mean, I kind of already have that under my belt. I'm down here. I'm making more money here and I'm stateside where I get to enjoy regular food, going to a gym. <laughs> Uh, not get shot you know, at yeah no bounties. exactly so it's probably way easier than afghanistan just shot in the door. oh yeah absolutely 100 <laughs> <100%. laughs> percent. you can go stay at the marriott you don't have to stay in afghanistan exactly <laughs> yeah God, i would That's... you know what i don't want to do either of those jobs 0708 was a rough time to be overseas yeah yeah and yeah, that was a, that was the heat of it the thick of it yeah Wow, did was that? Lot, did you see much action over there? Where, where were you? What was where your you deployed? So my first deployment was uh, hit Iraq. Um, it was right outside of. Uh, it was like I don't know, right between Fallujah and uh, what's the other crap? It was right along along the Euphrates River. But uh, I mean, our uh, our AO was pretty pretty hot uh, we had a couple guys uh get grenades uh shrapnel shot um my second deployment we were uh blown up i mean we we're in uh vehicles on my second deployment. our first point we were foot so we were walking around everywhere in the city second mm -hmm. deployment we we're uh in vehicles and we were blown up a lot i mean we had uh i think i don't know i'd say at least once every couple weeks we lost a lost a vehicle so Damn. When you say lost to vehicle, you and all the people in it? IED. No, no. Uh, we actually only lost one person um, on the on the second deployment. So we did uh, we did pretty well. How bad is it when a vehicle gets... Well, obviously it can be terrible, but a lot of times it's just like my ears are ringing and I need a day off. Like, it, What happens when you hit an IED? No, I mean... No, the, uh, so one of my buddies, he got paralyzed. Um, he can walk now. They mm -hmm. said he would never walk, but he can walk now. Um, another kid, uh, he was the gunner, had the uh, 50 cal come off and smash him in the head. Um, and he has yeah. a metal plate in his head now. Um, wow. I mean, yeah, just yeah, it's serious when, they, when they get blown up. Yeah, when they get blown up, you know, you got to think of everything that's inside that vehicle. It just kind of goes everywhere and it hits everybody and the vehicles flip over. And so... The guy they said couldn't walk. He, how well does he walk? Is it like he can oh, walk now, fine. but he uses a cane and a walker? Or like, no, he's fine. He's fine. Fine. One hundred percent. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. yeah, I have a friend yeah. that had the same experience, but it wasn't military. I would imagine. See, hearing all that, I would think it'd be much easier for you to go into sixty days in. But I guess totally different scenarios with different levels of stress and different levels of control. That, that probably t is a huge amount of it as well. Like you kind of feel like you have some autonomy as you're over there in Afghanistan, even if you are following. Order. <clears throat> yeah, not I mean, in Iraq. So um, our days were pretty, pretty busy. I mean, we did eight hours of patrol. We did eight hours of, uh, of post, you know, standing guard. And then we did four hours of QRF. So we responded to anything that like happened. And then we had four hours of sleep. So, I mean, you're pretty much really because on QRF, you can, you can sleep a little bit um, as long as nothing's going on. But uh, you still got to remember, you still got to, you know, brush your teeth, shave, you know, have your personal time in in that, you know, four to six hour window that you have for sleep. So Jesus, how do you keep go like like. We, I'm sure the three of us have have got, like, yeah, I got four hours of sleep last night. It sucks. And then maybe the next night things go poor. Like, yeah, I didn't sleep again last night. How many days in a row are you going where it's that bullshit of like so, four hours of sleep? So my deployment was seven months and it was all the entire time. Like I never had a day off in seven months. Christmas. How do you not die? Yeah. 
of sleep deprivation. Like, or, or blow away a falafel salesman or something like that accidentally. <laughs> you're just so like, cranky or you're you so could, like just out of it. You could have been working on four no. hours sleep for seven months, right? Like everybody, you know. everybody gets cranky. I mean, you're fighting your best friend. I mean, there was times that, you know, I, I was fighting friends of mine just because, you know, you just get pissed off over nothing. Yeah, you're um, just so on edge. But you've yeah. got more sleep sometimes, right? Am I crazy? You didn't literally exist with four hours of sleep for seven months. That's like no. So it was it was four hours of solid. Like that was your four hour sleep block, right? Mm -hmm. So on your QRF, uh, they butted them up. So um, so what's QRF? What is the QRF? QRF? Quick reaction forces. So pretty much you're on standby. So like if a unit goes outside of the wire and they need reinforcements, like you're gonna go out there. Mm -hmm. um, so I mean QRF. They would do a lot of QRF drills, uh, but QRF was really only activated. I, we went on one one activation where we were actually out for like three days, three days straight with like no sleep. Um, and then when we came back, we had to we had to replace the guys that were on guard tower, and then we had to stand on guard tower. And I actually remember my buddy uh, John uh, called in. He asked uh, the the CP to get eyes on a house outside of the wire because he just he swore that it got up and walked and then set back down like that's how sleep deprived we were <laughs> there's a bunch of enemies out there moving houses in the night yeah. <laughs> it's like solid snake in his box is it you know, moving around. <laughs> i mean they, they you know it wouldn't surprise me they're moving some some tent out there but i guess i guess he was just sleep deprived that's that's got to be terrible just terrible. I couldn't yeah. handle that. I'd rather do 60 was, days in than seven months of four to five hours of sleep. Yeah. <laughs> and there was times where, I mean, man, like you literally sleep standing up. People don't think it's possible. You sleep standing up. It becomes a natural part of your routine. Even if it's like a, a five second nap, that five second nap feels real good. 